Hey dolls, I'm back and I'm here to share with you all my makeup choices for this week. So let's go ahead and get right started with the lip combos. I'm going to be doing the NYX Lippy in the shade Thalia. That's the first shade that you see there. The next one is the Nika K, I'm sorry, Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick and this is in Fuchsia Fierce. Uh, the next is an NYX Butter Gloss and that's in the shade Tiramisu. The next one is by Maybelline and that's in the shade Berry Brilliance. The next one is NYX Butter Gloss as well and that's a brownish shade. That's actually in the shade Ginger Snap here. That's what you see. And the last one is a Juice Me Up Lip Gloss by Makeover Essentials. So let me go ahead and give you an idea of what all of these lippies look like swatched which I have them right here. So left to right, they are exactly the names I just mentioned, the NYX Thalia, the Ruby Kisses Matte and Fuchsia Fierce. Then we have the Tiramisu, the Berry Brilliance, and then the Ginger Snap. Right here, that creamy looking shade that you see there, that's gonna be the Juice Me Up by Makeover Essentials. So I decided not to do many lipsticks. I only chose these two for lipsticks and I decided to go ahead and use up some of my lip pencils. So I did pull out four pencils, which I also swatched right here, if you can see them very closely on my hand. So from top to bottom, we have the uh, tan shade that you see there. That is the NYX Lip Pencil in the color Natural. The next one that you see is a pink shade. That's by Nika K and it's the color Persian. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, nudie, metallic-y pink color. The next shade that you see is a browner color. It's by Nika K and it's in the shade Russet. And then the last one is a purple shade by BSN Cosmetics and that's in the shade Violet. So once again, they look like this. I'm going to be using all of these lip pencils. Okay, getting some use out of those. Let me throw those in my basket. And I could also get rid of these so I can show you guys what else is going on my face. Uh-oh. You guys know I always drop one. Let me try to pick that up. All right. So, moving right along for palettes, I'm doing the Beauty To Go by Makeover Essentials. I did show this in a haul that I did on my Chit Chat Thursday. And this is just a tiny um, makeup on the go, which has every color from cool tones to warmer shades that you would want to use um, for your eyeshadows. I did cover up the mirror. That's what you see there. So, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I'm going to get some use out of that. I don't think I'm going to be using the lip shade since I pulled out so many lippies, but I will use this face powder here as well as the brush, blush, and the bronzer. And since I'm going with such light lip colors as such that you see here with the exception of the darker brown one, I'm going to use this NYC Cheek Glow. And this is in, I believe it's called Sutton Peach. Yes, Sutton Peach Place. And it's really just a gorgeous, gorgeous, really subtle blush shade. Does have some shimmer pigments in it. And I think it's just going to complement these eyeshadow looks really well. I also pulled out the Silky Smooth Color Kit by Makeover Essentials as well. I'm going to get some use out of these colors. It looks like they have more pigmentation than these shades. They appear to be a little bit flatter. So I may be mixing... Uh, some of the two and once again this is by Makeover Essentials and see here it's the Silky Smooth Eye Color Kit okay for my face powder I'm going to be using this Nika K Mineral Press Powder and this is in the shade brown I pulled out this Wet n Wild Fergie. I want to give it another try. I did try it a couple weeks back. I don't know how I feel about it. I thought it was going to have more of a pop on my face, but on my skin tone, it's really, really subtle. And this is in the shade, 
I believe it's called, yeah, Hollywood Boulevard. A065, yes. I mean, it's nice, but it's really subtle. So, meanwhile, I pulled out another highlighter, which I'm going to mix with that. And this is the Makeover Essentials. Since I'm doing their cosmetics, I figured I'd stay along those lines. For my face primer, I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime. And this is in uh, Radiant Yellow. Looks like that. And last but not least, for my concealers, I decided to mix and match. I really did enjoy using the HD concealers by Nika K. I do have Coyote and Fawn. They are really, really smooth. I absolutely really love them. They're smoother than the LA Pro Girl, which gives me a better wear. However, I find myself having to blot just a little bit more with this. It separates. So I'm going to try using it with a different powder. This week, I also pulled out my Hard Candy Glamouflage because I am a concealer queen. I don't always use just the same concealer. I may use these two for the under eye, this one for my under eyebrow just to give it an extra pop of highlight. And I also picked out the MAC, and this is the Studio Finish in NW45 Concealer. For a base on my eyeshadow looks, I'm going to be using this Kiko Makeup by Milano Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick. Uh, it's an eight hour, it's supposed to be an eyeshadow, but it's too metallic -y for me. So this is the shade, it's in the number five. And I'm going to be using that as a base for all of these eyeshadow looks this week. I also pulled out, again, my Eye for an Eye by She Cosmetics. It's the dual sided um eyeliner and mascara however i'm just going to use the mascara this week for my eyeliner i did go ahead and pull out the elf cream eyeliner and just black and last but not least i'm going to top off my contour with the black radiance in rich mahogany these are one of my favorite um, types of powders to contour with it gives me the perfect, perfect shade. And I've also been using a kabuki brush to get my powder on top of my cream contour. It just gives it a softer finish. So yeah, that's everything. Um, so definitely stay tuned for the face of the day pictures and of course the videos. And I will chat with you divas and dolls later. Thanks for watching. Bye.